Oh, hey, hi, I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do at home. I'm told that I can levitate my phone, and I'm going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says, How do magicians make it appear to float things? Well, that's a pretty cool question. So, hey, try this. You will need your very own pop bottle. So I can float things in midair. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> now that's pretty wicked cool. Do you think just based on that video footage that I actually have the ability to cause things to float? Or do you think that something else is going on here? Well, don't look at me. Take a much needed look at this. If we break this down step by step, we can figure out what's really going on. First thing we notice is that an object appears to be suspended in midair meaning the magician, or rather trickster, has placed an invisible line in the bottle, in this case, fishing line. The next thing we notice is that the bottle always seems to follow the magician's hands. This means that the magician, or rather trickster, is using his hands to guide the fishing line to make the bottle move in the way that he wants the bottle to move. So if the trickster is moving an invisible line, where is the line attached to? In this case, the trickster has placed the invisible line over his head and it rests upon his neck. No matter what, when a magician claims they are levitating something through magic powers, there is always something holding that object up. So now you know the only real way to make something appear like it's floating is to attach a string. You know, making it appear like you're able to float a pop bottle is why science. It's so wicked cool.